People, welcome back to Planet Tyro, Tyro Media. I'm your host, Donald Wonder. The gift that keeps on giving is giving you another animated movie review. It's been a long time since I reviewed a movie, an animated movie. I think the last time was The Wolf Children. But you know, now I've got another one. And this time, it's not Japanese and it's not American. We're going to go to France. We're going to go to the French because they do some really great animated features when they get a wide release. And I've got something really good that was recommended to me. I'm passing it forward to you guys. Check this one out, man. I think it's a good Christmas gift. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Tyro Media. Okay guys, we're going to be talking about Le Tableau, or in English, The Painting. Alright people, so The Painting was originally a 2011 French drama animated movie that was directed by Jean-Francis Langrecio, I'm sure I'm messing up his name, I'll put it on the screen, and it was a passion project. Now the director already spent about three years on the post-production, on the character designs, and on the 3D digital animation post-production work because he wanted it to have a specific style and he was very ambitious with this as well. So with the story itself, it's actually set in a painting and in this painting, we are we set the story on three classes of people. We've got the fully drawn, we've got the half drawn and then we've got the sketches. Now the fully drawn are kind of like these upper class royalty figures that are oppressing the half drawns and the sketches. You know, they're like the upper class rich people that hate everyone. Oh, they're pish posh. What are these people doing here? They're half drawn. We want nothing to do with them. And, it, you know, the situation's bad for the half drawns and the sketches. So bad, in fact, that these fully drawn rich guys are actually persecuting them. They've got prejudice against them. They're actually hiding them down and killing them. And so the story is about. These, it's about these three characters, one of each class, a fully drawn, a half drawn, and a sketchy, that get fed up with the situation because, without going into spoilers, some crazy shit's going on, and they decide to go on an adventure to find the creator, the painter, the person who created them in the painting world. So, I don't want to get too much into spoilers, but the story goes beyond the world these three characters know. And to be honest with you, when you think about this movie, it was made in 2011, but when I when I was watching this movie, I got strong. There are very strong similarities to like Wreck It Ralph, the Lego Movie, and some other movies as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if those movies were inspired by this one, because this one was out before then. Now let me talk about the animation first. The animation style is like a hand drawn paint style mixed with 3D animation, and it looks you can see it's 3D animated to be honest with you, but it looks very smooth. It's very colourful, it's got a very, it's got a nice fluidity to them. And the art style is very, it's very, I can, the character designs are based off very iconic painters in real life. So you can see from the character designs that he was going to, he was going for the creator to create these characters based on paintings. So everything looks very arty. It's a very relaxing, fluid experience and he does, a lot, he does a lot of things with the animation. Sometimes it's 3D animated, sometimes it's more old school 2D animated, and you might even get some real life, live action in there as well. Now the soundtrack in this movie is a classic French string type background music, which is really cool. It fits the flow, fits the art style perfectly, and it's just beautiful to listen to. It's very mellow, understated, and it's a perfect fit. Now this movie was made in 2011, originally French, but what I watched was the 2014 American release Blu-ray edition. The good news about that is it's got a stellar English dub. Absolutely phenomenal English dub with classic anime voice actors like Stephen Blum, who gets in there, and many other great voice talents. This is a flawless English dub. It feels like it was made to be in English. This is my first language for saying that. I didn't get to hear the French dub, but to be honest with you, the English dub is just absolutely stellar, and I would recommend that being the, the, the optimal way to watch it. That's my personal preference anyway. 
Now, this is kind of a short review, but again, I don't want to spoil a lot of it. There isn't much to spoil, but I do want to say that this movie has a lot of analogies to real life with prejudice and racism, and it's very philosophical about who is God, who is our creators. But the thing about this movie is it's not political. It's not even trying to be intellectual. It's, it, it really is a basic story, but it, it's got those undertones. It's got those philosophies there. And it's, it's got something for the children and the adults. I think the youngers will like it for the animation and the adventure style. The adults will like it for the subtext and those themes that are there. And honestly, you, you really can just sit back and enjoy this movie. I, I really was blown away by it. The director obviously put, spent time to get this exactly right. And I think he's created something completely different. This is why I love animation, world animation, not just anime or American animation. Because every country has something different to bring to animation. And we don't see it often on a wide scale because a lot of these international animated movies made in other places don't get wide release. And it's, it's a shame because when you watch something like this, you get to see how they could contend with the popular stuff that's always blown out from America and Japan if only they're given the time to shine, which is why I'm doing this review. I think anyone would really love this. Any love of animation, whether it's Disney or anime, this is really great, man. I was really blown away by this. It's fantastic. The French, again, are, I guess they're the third biggest power when it comes to animation anyway. And I'm just going to wrap this up by saying I'm going to give the painting a low first class. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. It's, it's relatively short as well. It's only just above an hour. I think it's 74 minutes total. And you can watch it on Netflix. No excuse, guys. Stream it, buy it on Blu-ray DVD. It's got wide Western distribution, even though it took three years to come out to us. At least it's out now, and I give it a high, high recommendation. Watch this for Christmas, guys. I think um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. But funny enough, and then you've got this one warning, though. In this movie, there is one nude scene. There's a painting that's nude showing the lady parts. So parents, you might want to warn your kiddies about that. Just giving you that parental warning. But honestly, personally, I would let my nephew watch this anyway because this movie just has something to add and I think it's going to open your mind a little bit to the animated world of the world. There's much more to see, not just Japan and America. As we've said before, when we spoke about Wakfu and Triplets of Belleville and, you know, all these other good stuffs. But let me leave it at that, people. Let me know what you think of the painting leave a comment down below guys have a merry christmas and a happy new year i'm going to do one more video before the year's out and it's going to be my vlog because i just got a very short announcement to make no more reviews even though there's one i want to do but there just isn't enough time let's just all sit back relax so on that note as i said before have a happy christmas happy new year and i'll see you guys on the next one take care peace